Test, test, test. Okay. All right. So today I corrected a writing, a write up. And here it is. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to explain why I make these corrections. Uh, so it said, 저는 틀리고, which is fine. But I saw that this person kept saying 저는, 저는 twice or three times. Name, oh, I guess twice. Name and age. I was like, ah, that's repetitive. So let's say my name is instead of 저는. And now I can use this. Now the problem with 저는 is that if you say 저는 here, then you can't say 열여덟살의 베트남 사람입니다 because this is a bit essential, it's like defines your essence and you already use the word 저는 which defines your essence so that's why I use 재는, 제 이름은 and here you could have used 저는 but I skipped it because it's obvious that you're still talking about yourself so that's why I put, I added that you're Vietnamese because just saying 열여덟살입니다 it's it's not how people talk about your age Normally you'd say, I'm an, oh, I'm an 18 year old student. I'm an 18 year old like work, work person. Um, or your nationality, 18 year old Vietnamese. So that's the usual pairing that goes. Uh, this is fine. Yeah. Now here it said, uh, uh, what was the original? 제 가족은 uh, oh, I have the original here. 제 가족은 다섯 명 있습니다. And uh, it sounded very robotic, as I shared. And um, and also, it's hard to say 제 가족은 and then say a number. Normally, when you say 제 가족은 you define, you say something that defines that family as a whole. So you say, 제 가족은 뭐 장난기가 많습니다. My, my family is very funny. Or 제 가족은, I don't know, but things like that. And saying that it's, there's five of them, it, it breaks from that mold. So anyway, so that's why I did a major change in this sentence and wrote, uh, 제게는 다섯 명의 가족이 있습니다. 부모님, 언니, 남동생이 있어요. 부모님, 언니, 부모님, 부모님, 언니와 동생이 있어요. 언니와 부모님. No, I think this is fine. I think you're just listing off all the members. Wait, this is three people plus you. That's four. Where's the fifth person? Only oh, there's two parents. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so that's four people and you. Now you don't have to talk about you because it's I don't know. It's obvious. You don't normally when you list your family, you don't mention yourself. That's a given. Uh, what else? Hago is a uh, used. I think it's used more in spoken speech. Um, whereas in written written text, it's a little bit weird. Although you can use it, there's nothing wrong with it. It just sounds a little more childish, so I just took it out and replaced it for wa, uh, which is you're gonna see in different places. So, 부모님께서는 현재 부모님께서 고향에서 남동생과 살고 있어요. Uh, 현재 부모님께서 고향에서 남동생하고 살아요. Again, the hago I replaced it for kwa because it sounds better in written. Now, 현재, I took out 현재 and instead change the verb to 살고 있어요 to indicate they're living now it just rolls better uh, and now we are adding the 는 here because the assumption here is that there's three members who are living somewhere and then other members are living elsewhere so to mark the distinction I used 는 here because right next up we are coming up with this sentence where we are talking about two other family members who are living elsewhere so yeah. 저는 너무 좋아요. 
Now I would have omitted the channel here too, but here we mentioned two people. So now in the context it's unclear which of these two people we're gonna be talking about. So that's why the channel here. But oh yeah, here we should omit this. Preso, yeah, yeah. Why did I forget to omit this? So the channel here it should be omitted because just keep saying channel, channel, channel is very repetitive, and people already know that you keep talking about yourself. So yeah, so I guess we need to remove that. Preso, 한국어로. 유학을 가기 위해서 한국으로 유학을 가기 위해 한국어를 공부하고 있어요. So, 하고 있어요. To indicate it's a current situation. Uh, 한국의 유학. Yeah, I don't think people say 미국의 유학. Uh, they, I think the people say 어디로 유학을 간다. So, um, that's the standard format. That's how I ever play. Uh, and you wrote 지금부터 저는 until now. Oh, the intended use was until 지금까지. But uh, 지금까지 is also redundant because you already added 공부한지. So you're saying it's been four months since I studied Korean. And if you say I, it's been four months, it's assumed that it's been four months until now. Unless you specify and said well, if you're using the present tense, there's no other way around. But if you had the past tense, you could say uh, it had been four months until last year. Uh, but this is not the current situation. Uh, and in Korean, 작년까지, I don't know. It's okay. But anyway, here, this is this is how you should be. I think this is how it rolls best. And we, are we, always getting, we, all, we are always getting rid of unnecessary information. Like extra unnecessary information that could have been omitted will make your sentences sound weird. Alright? So, 올해 4월에 한국어 능력 시험을 치려고 해요. Okay. Uh, uh, so, a uh, test, you don't, you don't 해요 a 시험. You don't 해요 a test. You 쳐 a 시험. That's the verb that you use. So I replace it, I tend to take the test. And again, you're talking about yourself, so I'm gonna remove the channel because we are still talking about everything, every sentence from here on has been about yourself. So the assumption is that you're gonna be continuing to talk about yourself. Hajiman Yeah, that's fine. What's the original? Hajiman Uh I added this um, uh, huh. to reinforce the idea of uh, of the but. But I'm not very good yet, I guess. If you just said 한국어를 잘 못해요. It only if you only focus on the fact that you don't speak Korean well. And then the obvious question would be how can you wrote this letter? Well you wrote this letter because you speak some Korean, but you're not that good. So that's what this additional uh, portion will convey, will add to the meaning. Now I didn't use nun because you already have a nun here. You already added the bat. And here you just, um, in this section, you're just, uh, what's the word? You're, um, in this section, you're just spelling out what you mean by not being very good. So you're saying, oh, specifically, I can't do speaking and listening very well. So that's why we have rule, not nun. Uh, 모르는 어휘가 많이 있어요. Now it's a little bit weird, but I kept it. I'm like, ah, it's not too bad. Okay. And now if I fixed it, I would have said, well, this is out of the flow of this sentence. Because you said, I'm not very good, especially I'm not good at this. And like, this is like, what? Is this yet another example? But you already said especially. So, uh, we will need some connective here to flow it better, something like 
Krigo, maybe? Yeah, I think Krigo. And also, especially this, and also, this is not especially, but I also have not very good vocabulary. So, and also the fact that Ohi became the subject here is a little bit, uh, I think it would have been better if, um, if, it, if I, I had been the subject instead of the vocabulary. So the way you send, change this is, let's change it now. So, Grigo, Ohiru, Nani, Moru desu. Ohi, Grigo, Ohiru, Nani. The problem with Ohi is a, it's a very advanced word. So the fact that the rest of the sentence is super simple, it, it makes a weird contrast. So we should maybe change it for Tano, which is a simpler word. But if you want to stick with Ohi, <laughs> for some reason, let's say, 그리고 Ohi를 많이 구사하지는 Ohi를 넓게, 넓게, 폭넓게 The sentence is getting more and more advanced. 폭넓게 구사하지는 못하겠어요. Or let's do alternative. 그리고 단어를 많이 단어를 많이 모르겠어요. Okay, then I take this out. So yeah, we don't have to make this change, but while while we are explaining why it was not the best. So you can either go with the advanced sentence or with the simple sentence. Okay. Now, 문법의 기초가 튼튼하지 못해요. So, well, yeah. Now, the 튼튼 needs to be 문법이 튼튼하지 못해요. Yeah, I guess 문법이 튼튼하지 못해요 is a short, shorthand way of saying, talking about the foundations. Your foundations are not very firm. Uh, I don't know, but I just spell it out as the Mumpo Chuga. Mumpobi Tantanaji Moteo is fine too. Mumpobi Tantanaji Moteo. Uh, and this part threw me off. I'm very confused because why does it say me too? Because, like, who else is going to a Habon, to an institute? And then this also throws me off. Another. I'm like, what do you mean by another? Were you in an institute earlier? But none of that was mentioned in, a pre in the previous sentences. So this is strange. Um, so I took it out. I just wrote, 학원에서 공부하고 있어요. So I'm not very good at Korean and I'm studying at this 학원. So that's okay, I guess. But still a little bit out, but it's better than having 저도 다른. So you should explain what you mean. Now, this, I have no idea what it means. <laughs> Let's see. So this is not a word. This is not a word. And I'm thinking, does this mean nori? In which case it means games. And I'm like, or play. And I'm like, what? What? Korea play? And like, huga? I'm also confused. And does it mean maybe... Uh, to, what? Huga, like to take a vacation from work. I'm I'm very confused. So if this something means like to take a vacation, and there's something about going to Korea, maybe this means I'm not gonna take a rest and I'm just gonna study very hard to go to Korea. Is that what I mean? I'm I'm very confused about this sentence. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, 저는 연 선생님과 만나고 싶어요. What did the original say? 전 연선. Yeah, you need to add the qua to connect. Now. Adding the person's name in English, it breaks the flow. And if you have the chance, I think you should just write it in Korean. Although I think this might be a minority opinion. I don't know if everyone does that. So even this part, I would have written in Korean, unless you specifically wanted people to know how it's spelled using English alphabet. So otherwise, I would just write written like hi Duong, you know, like that. And Trin here, and uh, again, let's change this. Yes, and I'm also confused. Isn't this person Korean? Why is the person named Yen? 
Anyway, 저 so, 예은 선생님과 만나고 싶어요. 예은 선생님하고 아, oh, I'm a little bit confused here. So what I'm confused about is why did I not remove the 하고 here and replace it for 과? Uh, I don't know. This whole sentence feels a little more colloquial or like spoken than the others. And here, I'm wondering, do I need to write 친구들께서? I use 높임말 here because we started with the 선생님. But then 친구, you don't need to use 높임말. But the 선생님, you need to use 높임말. So if you said 친구들과 선생님께서, then you need to use 께서 for sure. But in this situation, hmm, interesting. Because 친구들 is the last second word. <sighs> uh, let's use queso. And because we're using queso, hago becomes less appropriate now. So we're gonna replace it for qua. Yan 선생님과 친구들께서 주신 많은 도움에 많은 도움에 정말 감사드립니다. Uh, so this should be another one way of saying it. Now, if you wanted to say 도와주시기, you need to say 선생님과 친구들께서 많은 도움을 많이 도와주셨 많이 도와주셨기 때문에 right? it doesn't sound respectful. Um, it makes it sounds it makes the conversation sound a little bit transactional. So yeah, it doesn't sound very respectful. Queso, mani toa I guess maybe mani toa chushoso. I think the fact that the causality, like oh, because you helped me, now I thank you. Yeah, because that causality is so strong, I think it doesn't sound it. Like the attitude convey is not that respectful. A lot of people understand that you are thankful, but I think it's a little more. What's wahada? It sounds a little more classy. We'll keep it this way. Yeah, anyway. So that's why I removed it. So because I changed it to this format and made noom a noun instead of a verb, I had to modify this part too. Right, and then 정말 감사합니다. Not necessary. You already said 감사합니다 here, and um, I mean sometimes people go like, "Oh, I'm so thankful," and so forth. But if you wanted to say that, you really need to like strengthen this with like more adjectives or something. Um, so and then this part is a little bit strange uh, because you're writing a letter, it seems, and in a letter you don't say neither 가세요 nor 계세요. At first. You're writing from Vietnam and you're writing to Korea, someone in Korea, and the person is gonna read it in Korea. So because of that, you need to say "kaseo," not "kaseo." Oh. oh, what did I do? Okay. Uh, wait, is that why it's "kaseo"? Um, 안녕히 계세요, 계세요. 안녕히 계세요. And then, like if you're talking on the phone, okay, now, yeah, if you're talking on the phone and you're talking to someone who's away, you speak from their perspective, I guess, I don't know, but anyway, you say, now, in a letter, you wouldn't say this, but I just kept it because I, I don't know, uh, because, <laughs> yeah, because you need to end this letter, and um, if you can end it, like, again, with class, we need some really convoluted, archaic <laughs> Korean. Like, uh, oh, I guess something light you can say. Please also be always be healthy. That's something Koreans say often. Uh, another way could be, so let's make this A, B, option C, to uh, What else could it be? I don't know. So these are some some ways you could end this. This not the best. 
But no, no, it's not even the best. People don't say this in a letter, so yeah, don't do it. There we go. Uh, all right, there we go.